Okay, I'm going to pick up where I left off. I just drew a box here in Pro 2015. I'm going to open this wall up, and uh, this is just an exterior siding for wall. Go over to uh, wall types. I'm going to get rid of the sheetrock on the inside. So now we just have framing, uh, sheathing, moisture wrap, and uh, siding. I change the wall type, it changes all four of those walls. Now, as I did in the prior tutorial, I'm going to draw a box on the inside, a room on the inside. See, it automatically connected it with an invisible wall. That's what it does. It's over in Edit Preferences. Edit Preferences. And I uh, thought maybe it's under Architectural. I forget. That, that, uh, I don't see it right off. But anyway, there, this invisible wall is an automatic thing that you can turn off in preferences, but I usually leave it on. I'm going to open one of those walls and go to uh, wall types and, and define. And on the uh, outside, I'm going to select this layer here by left clicking on it, or this one here, and change it to five inches like the guy had. And we'll change the material from drywall to uh, installation air gap. I think it's over in here under uh, plan material. Should be, uh, hit the I key to go to the eyes. Yeah, there it is. No, inflation air gap. So that's basically what we had before in the prior tutorial. You can see the uh, air gap here. And we'll just, I'm just left click and dragging those against the wall over there, out against the outer wall. Now, there's been some talk about this not framing properly for wall penetrations, and that's just not true. If you do it properly, it'll it it should frame just fine. I'm gonna put a window here. Oh, I see. It is trying to just frame into one window. Let me see if there's anything I can do about that. Stop. Yeah, in the other tutorial, I, I kind of brushed on this where there's, in Premiere, there's a, a checkbox where you can say this is a uh, frame through wall. I don't, I don't see it here in, uh, it's on the structure tab, but it's not here. Uh, Rim joist, no, that's, none of that stuff. Okay, well, what can you do? Well, <clears throat> Mick kind of touched on it. So you can put, you can just put two wall penetrations there and line them up. There. And if you wanted to be, uh, you could make this. As has been said, you could get rid of this and put a, a pass through there. Let's see, where's pass through? I don't see pass through tool. Maybe it's under Windows. There it is, pass through. We'll make it the same size as a window. Yeah, it works okay. Now for doors. Da, 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 doors. Similar kind of a thing. Have that swing to the inside, and then we'll uh, go over here and make a just a penetration hole in on the wall over here. <clears throat> so we'll open that door. That works. And of course, you have really thick walls. You're going to have a thick casing on the windows, or thick frame on the windows. Now let's see if it's framed properly. Yeah, build framing. We've got a wall. Automatically build wall framing. I'm just going to hold my mouth right. Let me do it again. Oh. 
Oh, I didn't. I said automatically build, but I didn't check build framing. Okay, you see this framing framing properly, or at least as properly as this could could be expected for a, a double wall like this. And uh, if this framing isn't exactly to your uh, to your to what you want, you can uh, manually edit it. Like if you just want this outer one, we'll turn the label off on it. Where's the open icon? Go to the label tab and turn it off. And same thing on this deal here. Actually, I uh, pass through. I'm going to turn off. So it just shows one penetration. <coughs> so let's do the uh, framing overview. It works. I mean, if you want perfection, then you probably ought to buy some other kind of software. But I think this stuff does a pretty good job. And sometimes you just have to use your imagination to get get the results uh, that you might want. Okay, that's it. Thanks.